What's good, Stop D Nation? It is Stop D here, and we have today our full theme team of all of the uh, lucky players from the Year of the Dog. We're missing one, I guess, which would be this one, the Stop D Dog card. Um, but uh, we got all the players that we got on, so it's all the lucky players um, from this one. We're going to go through this. We're going to do some gameplay and some campaign mode, try and do our comeback in campaign mode, because that is what I have the most fun doing. Um, but uh, some decent cards on this end. Um, all of these cards, obviously all optional, most of them between like five and a million right now but they'll probably keep going down in price especially because of the red envelope and how you can actually pull them in there so i think the most expensive one you'll get is like just over a million um but typically you're getting some of them you can get them for like five hundred thousand stuff like that so a pretty cheap team to put together um but it'll be fun to do some gameplay with them as well so we're gonna start off here with our keeper not a bad keeper at all and actually he's got ball control boost reaction boost goalkeeper diving boost react uh, reflex boost and sprint speed so you're gonna make a fast keeper you're gonna make a fast keeper in the end out of this one uh 102 reflex is 82 positioning um so pretty good handling pretty good positioning not the best card um for but he is only an 83 overall with a plus 12 boost right now so pretty decent um in that to start it off with and then we got our first crimson player that we got but also uh we decided we didn't want to put the crimson in there because we wanted to keep it all you know like Lucky player theme going on with that. Um, so the heading boost on this one. So Saka here has, uh, you know, not the best speed. But if you saw his Crimson card, you weren't really expecting a whole lot of speed. Ball control, those kind of things anyways. Um, so decent finishing shot power. Not my favorite card. Um, if we move him, though, into the right position. And this is part of the problem is they're all out of position in this. Um does get pretty good strength and better ball control heading finishing um all of those things but still not able to rainbow flick and then we got Felipe in the middle um he has enough great ball control great dribbling i'm actually excited to use this card uh 96 sprint speed 90 acceleration a very nice card in the middle with that agility boost um, and then Cancelo over here on the other side uh he got 106 pace 98 sprint speed 114 acceleration 96 shot power a very very nice card right there actually um so decent it's got the acceleration boost that is one of the best boosts you can have right there that acceleration boost robertson here in our left mid position you'll notice some of these players are in different positions than they would be um, in the crimson players um so that's why some of them do have to be out of position if you do the crimson players they can all be in position if you're going for that van der Zar. um otherwise you'd probably be like very impossible to try and do that without any of the boost going on but anyways robertson here uh the passing boost which is going to boost short passing long passing crossing positioning and long shot that is important to campaign as we have found out uh 92 sprint speed 90 88 acceleration ball control decent dribbling um can't do the rainbow flick so a lot of players who can't rainbow flick on here which is going to make it hard to do this campaign mode for sure um and then samson in the middle um he is going to have 83 sprint speed 84 acceleration 90 marking um 94 shot power 83 finishing 99 reactions 87 ball control uh bernardo silva the first player that we picked up we got him in the red envelope so this was one of the ones we got in the red envelope um i think we got two of them we got him and actually we got like three or four of them in the red envelopes left when we picked up in the store 95 so he can do the rainbow flick which is definitely helpful he's got a finishing boost shot power long shot um as his boost there so a decent card in that one and then we go out to the other side we got Lucio over here um so the man from Bayern Munich 85 sprint speed 87 acceleration 88 ball control 85 dribbling um so a decent card right there great tackling and marking though so it's aggression pretty good defensive player um to have in that right mid position so that will help us out when it comes time for this campaign and then at the back we got our first center back mona is going to be 102 strength 113 aggression 181 marking 92 tackling and he got the strength boost uh which does strength aggression positioning reactions and marking so not necessarily like the greatest um all around stats especially that speed um but hey you got to put them on the team. You can't make the full team without them. Um, and then we got our next midfield, or some midfield, our next center back player, uh, 90 tackling, 88 marking, 102 aggression, uh, 95 strength. Again, no roulette or no rainbow flick, but not many defenders can do the rainbow flick. In fact, only one keeper can do the rainbow flick, and that is Van der Sar, which I want to see Van der Sar do the rainbow flick. All right, we're going to go on to our last player. So we got Lindelof over here, um, 80 sprint speed, uh, 88 strength, uh, 71 ball control, 67 dribbling, 87 heading, um, 87 marking, um, or 87 tackling, actually 86 marking, and 91 aggression. The downside of this card, um, we do have to put him out of position if you want the full team together because um, he is in the right back position. He would be boosted, though, quite a bit on tackling, reactions, awareness, aggression, and positioning. So if we click over here, we could see plus 10, plus 10, plus 9, plus 10, and plus 
8 there, so that would give him a little bit better stats. Um, so not the best stat-wise team, but it's going to be fun to do some gameplay with them. I'm excited to try them out to do some campaign matches here. So we're going to go into our favorite campaign, the England campaign. We're going to find some... Actually... Maybe we should try a different one. I got what other ones do we have? I have the Spanish campaign. We could do a a zero zero match against. Uh, let's go against Real Madrid. We're gonna go against 120 overall Real Madrid. While this is probably hard enough already, we're gonna go in and we're gonna try and see if we can get ourselves a goal with the keeper to start this off with because we do have. Um, it's it's not three nothing down, so I'm hoping it's gonna be a little bit easier. But this Real Madrid squad, yeah, they're they're pretty good. All right, luckily that was a foul. I didn't think they were going to call it because he, he took time to take the shot off. So we'll give him a couple tries uh, and then we'll go and we'll actually try and win this match. Or if we end up getting scored on first, we may have to do something about that. The problem with the keeper too, you really don't have a whole lot of choice. Wow, that was the coolest move I think I've ever seen a keeper do. I don't know. He like, I feel like he was trying to do some like karate move there. That was pretty cool. All right, here we go. Again, nice. Nice roulettes here. Now just got to get past Modric. He's going to get tripped up again. So he's making it pretty far. See if we can get a goal from all the way on the other half. He loves it up in the air. The goalie's diving for it. I probably could have actually headed that in. Navas was like, I don't know what he was doing. He's like pointing to it in the sky. This is full of very interesting plays. All right. One more try. One more try here. It's still, we're still not down yet. Benzema. Benzema. Oh, nice. Stops Benzema right there. So we get to see the defense in action right now. And we get to see the goalies in action as a striker. So he's not Van der Sar. That is one I would totally like. Can you imagine the challenges with Van der Sar just being like what you could do with that card? There you go. There's the goal. You probably, it actually could be like Van der Sar plus all bronze players and you would win in any one because he could just roulette every, or rainbow flick everybody effectively. Uh, the downside with some of these rainbow flicks, they're not quite as, uh, uh, I don't like them quite as much as some of the other players with the higher dribbling and stuff like that. Oh, nice save there. Um, because they don't keep it in control as much. It takes too long for him to get it back. That's the one downside with a lot of these players. They are lower overalls, though, um, if you look at it compared to, uh, you know, some of the players that we've been playing with. So that is part of the problem with it. Uh, roulette may actually be a bit more beneficial at this level, but a shot! Navas going back. He was like... And then he finally it goes in. That was that was a very interesting one. I like that. I like that play. I like that play. All right, Benzema though he's not he can't have that. He's not having that. He's not having that. All right, back to our goalie. Nope, corner. Goal kick. All right, goal kick. Let's give him one more shot. I feel like he was doing well last time. He made it far last time. He's done a whole bunch of cool moves. We're getting better with this. Get it with the keeper. No, 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 no. Benzema blocks it. Nice, nice play right there. Oh, who's going to get there first? He's just going to clear it up. All right, 42nd minute. I want to try. I really want to try and get a goal with my keeper, but this is a dangerous game to play. A dangerous game to play because then that happens, and we are now down 2-1. to one. All right, that's not what I meant to do. It's not what I meant to do. Let's see if we can get him in here again. Okay, he did not have the best rainbow flick the first time around. He has a little bit better the second time. Takes the strike, and that is a goal right there. That's the kind of play we want to see from him. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from your star players right now as Bernardo Silva tries to go for it. And 45th minute, we're into the second half, 2-2. Two to two, But we're really just playing around with it, so I'm, I'm happy with this result here. Even if we get, like, a tie here... Maybe we should get up by one goal. We should get up by one goal, and then we'll go and play around with it again. Casemiro, no. Sergio Ramos. Ah, oh, I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna run down Sergio Ramos there. Modric. Back on defense now. Benzema. He tries to go to Cruz. Oh, one touch to Ronaldo. Ronaldo has not been doing much for them right now. Um, he's not really been involved in this game at all. Uh, but uh, I guess it's hard because that left wing position is not really uh, one of the one of the positions that you see a whole lot in there. So Bernardo Silva, don't run into your own player. Thank you. I thought he was going to run into his own player, but he does not. He places it in the back of the net, and that is what we need to see there. We're taking the lead right now, which means we can play around a little bit. We can play around, especially if we get one more. I feel like if we get one more, then we can really start to play around. So. Uh-oh, because Ronaldo's got it now. Ronaldo, but nice step in there. That is... He's got, like, the highest defensive stats of, like, any right mid I've seen. So it, it's not surprising, but pretty good there. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 right beside the net. 
That was scary. Okay. I think we need to get one more goal to feel a little bit more comfortable here. I don't think that that was... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Passing it to Benzema. Passing it to Bale. Bale's going to cross it in. They always do. Uh-oh. A foul. A foul to Benzema. And it is in. And we are in trouble now, folks. 72nd minute. No, we're not in trouble. It's tie game. Tie game. That's why we don't play around with these things, though. Nice double rainbow flick. Ramos is with him. Just take a shot. Ah, okay. I should have I should have stayed a little longer on there. 75th minute. I don't really want to take him to extra time. I guess it doesn't really matter. But uh, it would be nice to win this in regulation time. Considering that most of the goals we've let in were because we were being not smart. Okay, come on. Through. Oh, God, that's a bad pass. Bad pass. All right. Carvajal comes in. No. Bernardo Silva. Okay, Cruz, we really can't lose this. We really can't lose this. To Ronaldo. Ronaldo gets it again, and I don't... What? I think that that went off of him. Ooh, that was a good throw. Smart throw. Sometimes they like to do the throw not to the person they're supposed to pass it to. Oh, what a pass to Marcelo. Oh, man, in 87th minute. We might lose this match right now. Unless he can... Oh, they're stacking up their mid. They're stacking up in the midfield here. We get a free kick, though. Nice shot and a goal! Oh, I didn't think that was going in. What a goal that was. That was a beautiful, beautiful goal. I got to see that again. All right, I got to watch this. Look at that. It goes in. He gets a piece of it and knocks it off the post and in. Just too much, too much for him right there. Because we got three minutes of extra time. That's not good. It's probably because of all the fouls that happened in this half. So if we can hold them off, then we at least get to go to extra time. I can't lose. Okay, extra time it is. We're moving on into the extra minutes here. I didn't think we were going to do this. I didn't think we were going to do this here. But oh yes. Oh yes. That's some moves. That's some moves. Not enough moves though. All right. Too many moves or not enough. I don't really know what we were missing there. But Kismero. Nice. Bernardo Silva. Get it. Oh, he tried like that little fancy heel pass. Modric is going to come with it. Yep, stop him. Much better on that heading. Much better on that heading on defense than some of those bronze players were. But Benzema, always dangerous. Always dangerous. And a beautiful strike in the back of the net right there. Looks like we're coming back again. This is a high-scoring match. A high-scoring match here. We're regretting some of our earlier decisions to just kind of play around with it. But a nice goal. We answer right back. Coffee break. Oh, yes. All right, that's going to inspires me to get more goals here. The first half of extra time is coming to a close, but Benzema gets one more opportunity on it. No, no. How does he still have it? Oh my goodness, how do you let him take... Ah, he just died. Really? Come on, team. And then we're going to get this, but we're not going to have enough opportunity because as soon as we try and... Yeah, as soon as we try and rainbow, the end of the half there... That was like right at the end. Now we need to get it back. We got to find some answer to him. We got to find some answer to him. It serves us right, to be fair, for playing around so much with it earlier. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Corner. 111. 111 right now. Get it out. Get it out. Top of the box. No, why do you let him? Oh, thank you. I don't know if we're going to have time to get down the pitch again, but... We were definitely in trouble if they scored there. Okay, we got it to the guy we need to have it to. The guy with a rainbow flick, and he gets it again. Okay, 118. 118 here. 118 across in... Gold 6-6, six, six, 120 plus 1. We are putting it in in like the last second of every single one of this. This is an intense match right now. This is an absolutely intense match. One of the most intense matches we've gone through on here. Is it going to go to PKs? Probably. It will go to penalty kicks. It is penalty kick time, folks. Whew. Starting this off strong. Let's start this off right. All right. Bernard Silva, full power to the right. Full power to the right. Doesn't even go the right direction on that one. And we're looking. Okay, Cristiano Ronaldo. Where are you shooting? He's shooting to the left. He's shooting to the... No, he's shooting to the right. Wrong direction. Wrong choice. I think we're going to go... Oh, man. We're going left this time. 
Going left this time, and oh, top shelf. He gets the right direction, but it does not matter. A beautifully placed shot. The man who scored all their goals scores again in the penalty kicks, and we're back on to this next one. All right, first direction again. Hit it. Oh, wow. That actually almost did not go in. Off the bar and in. Bale. Bale's going right, too. Bale's going right. He does save. There it is. That's what I need to see. Okay, now you got to finish this up. Finish this up. The beautiful free kick from earlier, and he buries it, even with the goalie going the right direction. A save here can do it. A save here can do it. They go the same. Oh, so close. All right, a goal here. We need a goal here. We're going the same direction we went before. Not a good shot, but it doesn't matter because the keeper goes the wrong direction, and we pick up the victory against Real Madrid in PKs. That was one of my most fun matches we have played. Thank you for checking this out, and thank you for stopping by. It has been a pleasure as always. You know how it ends. Stop D.